All right. All right, folks. This is a blindfolded run. So during the fights, please, please, as much silence as you possibly can. Once a fight is over, I'll give you all a thumbs up. You can go nuts in between fights, but please wait until they're over. Even when Zaller does stuff that's going to be ridiculously sick mid-fight, try to not ooh and ah. I know this is asking a lot. It will be worth it. And at the end of this, stand up. All right? <clears throat> I need to preface this by, like, this is a ridiculously difficult run. Um, there are some fights where if some things go slightly off, they become actually impossible blindfolded. So I'm going to have to actually do restarts yeah. uh, for some fights, unless just none of them somehow, but that's doubtful. Um, yeah, pretty much. Just uh, set your expectations to that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, it's yeah. Fun. It's fine. We just have Zallard 1 expectations. All right. So yeah, to kind of expound while Zeller gets set up here, the We Punch Out fighters are very, very consistent. You can pretty much make the fights deterministic if you don't make mistakes, which is super easy to do when you can't see. Fact. But yes, it is. Uh, this is one of those cases where Zallard walks the tightrope. As long as the tightrope goes well, we're good. One misstep, and like he said, fights become unrecoverable. So we're going to let Zallard go to work here. <sighs> All right. Three, two, one, go! Is it possible to turn the game audio up just a tiny bit? Just a pinch. Bonjour, bonjour. There's one down. So, um, Every fighter in this game has an instant knockout mechanic. There is a way to instantly end the fight with every single bat match in this game. They're going to get much more difficult. There you are. He's also navigating the menus blindfolded with a Wiimote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been contemplating like how I wanted to approach this, and I figured let's just do the dumbest thing possible and just try this out. All right. Those are buttons, so it's got to be up, right? I hear you. How many? Three? Now it's just one, two. Oh, wait, there is three. Yeah! <laughs> there you are. Von Kaiser. All right. So this fight's not too bad, unless I make a mistake. That, that's pretty much like the story for every single fight in this run. <laughs> There's another one. All right, so far hitting the vision speed strats, uh, two for two, that's pretty good, I think. Yeah, those are not really any different than how Zallard would do this without the blindfold. I know you're here somewhere. I heard you. There you are. Loading screens are a thing. Good old loading screens. Oh. Hey. Nice. Nice. Very well done. Menu boss, we, we make that joke at GDQ a lot. No, this is a, a real menu boss this time. Yeah, I think I'm more afraid of the menu than the boxers. <laughs> mm. 
Hm. Oh, okay. Cool. So I missed a couple of those stars there. The timing was just a little bit off, so I had to do some improv. Oh, nice. I got that. Cool. Yeah, so he does taunts. Um, if you happen to have a star before the taunt, you could actually just knock him down with that. Nice. So yeah, the star mechanic in this is a little bit different than for Mike Tyson's punch out. With Mike Tyson's punch out, they're separate stars, but they stack in this game. So yeah, all of your stars combine into one super powerful punch, pretty much. But the the double-edged sword part of that is just that. Uh, uh, where are you? Oh. Almost. Oh, there you are. Um, if you get hit and you have three stars, you lose all of them. Whereas in Mike Tyson's punch out, you get hit and you have three stars, you lose one. Mm -hmm. So big risk reward factor here, especially for all of the speed strats. Oh, I'm on the right line. Two. Three. All right. So I must have hit left, so let's try to go right. Nope, that's middle. Oh. Uh, I think that's the lower left. All right, let's try again. Okay, let's go back. Two. Yeah, there that's what I like go. to hear. <laughs> okay. There we go. So yeah, similar to Mike Tyson's punch out, just one knockdown will do it, but this is a pretty tough fight. You're getting to see Zalud use a lot of what we call those buffer strats. When you see him just ducking or whiffing punches, that's almost always to set up the timing for something that's going to be coming down the line. And it basically makes it so he's not just trying to keep a count in his head of, okay, I've got a, I've got a count to X number, and now clearly I'm on the frame that I can't see with this blindfold, and I should hit a button. Yep. <laughs> well done. Okay. Now let's take down the next circuit. All right. So I decided to do this on career mode because exhibition mode would be like impossible to do blindfolded menuing on. This, it's still kind of impossible, but technically is realistic. So we're going with, uh, with this. So we get to see all the cool cutscenes. Yeah.
Nice. Nicely done. Yeah, that was good. I was just on the right line and hit all three, and I knew it was there. So this fight's not too bad. Um, a lot of star opportunities here. Gonna be a lot of counter punches. Okay, he's gonna hit me with that one. So yeah, he does bows every one now and again. Uh, if you happen to have a star, it's an instant knockdown. And I believe a minute in, he's supposed to do the uh, the Honda rush attack. But if you beat him, if you get two knockdowns before a minute, then he just makes that his third phase. Nice. Yeah, the uh, the the thing to know about Wii Punch Out here is that there is the original circuit, and then the new addition they made for Wii, uh, Wii Punch Out is you have what's called the title defense circuit. The original run is not going to be too too brutal. Um, those are fights that some of them can even be recovered from, but this next one is actually going to be one of the more challenging ones. So that was probably right. Nice. There you go. Yes, all our boxers are nice enough to give uh, audio cues when yep. the correct menu has been This would choking. be a lot more complicated and time-consuming otherwise. So Bear Hugger has a bunch of instant knockdown opportunities, but most of them are really hard to hit. So this could be this could swing in either way. Too early. Alright, that'll work. You can also mash buttons to recover, which is pretty helpful. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on. Fight. Oh, okay. She's Yeah, had to resort to some backup strategies because I got lost in my uh, in the attack script a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Absolutely great focus and concentration by Zaller to come through in that fight. Just like to point out that he's telling you all he's hitting what is almost a just frame counter too early with a blindfold on while figuring out where to recollect himself after losing an attack script. No big deal. <laughs> just Zaller won things. Third time's, third time's the charm. All right, this fight's actually really, really tough um, if I make any mistake because it's super random unless I do everything exactly in a certain way. So hopefully this will be all right. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That's huge, getting that first phase. One, two, three. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Fight. Uh, Ayo. 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 Oh, that, the free counter, nice. So that's random how many times he goes back and forth. Uh, but I heard him dance twice, so that means he's on the left side and my buffer would actually work. Otherwise, I'd have to manually time it. Perfect fight. Wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. As we mentioned before, he can like, uh, whiff attacks to uh, set up buffers to hit them perfectly. Yeah. yeah, the scary thing about this game is that my punches, when they whiff, are silent. So I have to hit buttons at the right tempo. If I'm slightly off, then the buffer just doesn't work. It just fails. So mm -hmm. a lot of muscle memory involved here. Too high. All right, well done. So yeah, Dawn has an infinite in this game, but it's a lot more complicated than in Mike Tyson's punch up. Oh yeah. Mm. So I just hit the KO. You can't get hit, and you need to have the infinite last at least seven hits in the previous phase. Um, that's a really long and drawn out fight if I don't hit that trick. So yeah. pretty sick time save. No, really, really well done. Yeah, the, the juggling Dawn back and forth there, that's not just a, a, an easy buffer strat. That requires like very, very strict timing and rhythm on Zallard's part. And like everything, he just makes it look easy. <sighs> Nicely done. <laughs> I feel like I'm defusing a bomb every time I'm hitting that button. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. Come on, Matt. Come on. Faster, faster. Come on, you can do it. Keep it up, Matt. Keep it up. All right, so moving on to the world circuit here. The fights, of course, get a little bit more complex, a little bit more difficult. True. <laughs> Aaron Ryan is a favorite in this game. Yep. So a lot of Aaron Ryan's attacks are really silent, or the audio cues are really subtle, so I'm gonna have to pay a lot of attention here. So I'm going to have to press block at a very specific time, pretty much as his attack is hitting me, in order to do a correct block here. Six, seven. Come on, come on. Fight. 
Oh, I got it. Mm. <laughs> awesome Fresh job. Awesome job. So typically, when you block in this game, uh, you can just hold up and it's fine, but there's certain situations where you have to actually actively tap the block, and there's... Uh, it's specifically for Aaron Ryan's headbutts, so you have to time it very specifically. Otherwise, he'll just hit you through yeah. it. It's more like a parry timing than it is just a block. Yeah. And just to highlight what Zaller was talking about with the silence, uh, yesterday during practice, he had me put on isolation noise-canceling headphones and was like, listen for, for this thing. And I was dumbfounded because I'm watching the screen and couldn't hear what he was talking about, so. Yeah, it's really, really subtle. So similar to Mike Tyson's punch-out, Soda has a pretty huge weakness when you hit him in the gut and have a star. Um, you have to time it very specifically in this game, though, and you need to follow it up with a delayed jab, but it's kind of the same principle. So I kind of abuse the fact that whenever I throw a star punch at Soda, he gets really mad and starts throwing uppercuts. Makes it really easy to tell what he's about to do. Nice. Another great fight. Yeah. Excellent. We're just moving right along here. <laughs> Starting to get the feel of where the sensor bar is, which is good. Yeah, the one time that the uh, Wiimote vibrating when you're actually over a menu item actually comes in handy is this particular uh, event. Nice. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to get that 45 degree angle blindfolded. Sometimes I could drift off in a direction just slightly and not hit the, uh, the button. It's a fairly substantial time loss, depending on how bad it is after you try to recover. His attack is gonna, his attack script's gonna be completely different for phase two, so I'm probably just gonna react to stuff that he does. Oh, okay. It's actually not too bad. Oh, I hit the buffer, dude. So yeah, when you're chaining two punches together, it's really, really easy to miss that. When you have the game knowledge that Zaller does, you can just get off script and then immediately five seconds later, you'll be like, oh, okay, cool, it's fine now. Yep. <laughs> Eyesight is for chumps. <laughs> All right, where are we? Question marks? Oh, okay. Cool. 
they were pretty spaced out. Maybe I was just moving too slowly. I was afraid of it just being two. Whenever there's two beeps, it's, it's uh, panic mode. Can we just point out that Macho is actually the greatest in this? He's kind of great. Are you ready? I shouldn't stick him. I'm not skipping this. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> So whenever I'm doing unstunned star punches, it actually moves Macho's attack script a little bit faster. He'll actually do attacks slightly faster than just leaving it alone. <laughs> All right, looking pretty good. So he's going to start doing spin punches, and it's pretty hard to dodge them blindfolded consistently. A little too late. Oh, okay. I had stars and I could have just used them, but cool. <laughs> Misjudged that uh, HP value by quite a bit, but that's okay. Nice. All right, so we're, we're approaching the end of the first loop of the game. Hmm? Okay. Oh. There we go. So what's cool about Sandman is the uh, camera just zooms right into him, so it's going to be the bottom right button. I don't even have to do the boxer thing. I just know that's the button. <laughs> so a pretty tough fight here, especially blindfolded, because he has a lot of silent overhead attacks. Um, I pretty much need to know they're coming, otherwise I'm just going to get hit by all of them. All right, that works. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Fight. Ooh, okay. Um. I guess I'm just gonna go for it and pray it works. Nope, not quite. So a bit of improv, but we nice. made it through. We made it through. Really nice recovery. All right, so this is the end of the first loop of We Punch Out. Um, once I get to the, well, I think the credit sequence is going to be right after this button. Um, I can't skip this, so I'm just going to throw donations to Cove right now. So let her rip. Any donation comments? This is the time. Yeah, we've got a bunch. We have $50 from a space worm. This blindfolded punch out run is amazing. I had to donate for this display of mastery. $50 from Dr. Zigzag. Blind punch out is amazing. Great job. $25 from the Chris with a K. Oh, okay. Uh, that's all right. I'm fine. Blindfolded Mike Tyson's <laughs> punch out was my first exposure to GDQ, and I'm eternally grateful for the hours of entertainment this event brings and for such a wonderful cause. I can't think of a better game during which to make my first donation. Much love. 
$25 from James FNX46. Way to give Glass Joe a right croissant. $25 from Swiss Cheese Man. Been watching Zallard through Star Fox 64 score runs, the blindfolded punch out runs, and the dodgeless punch out challenge. It's amazing how much time and effort you put into these games, and I know you'll put on a great show today, too. At $25 from Kirby Master. Kirby donating for Zallard's punch out runs. They're always among my favorite to watch in GDQs, and Zallard has always been a cool dude to be with. This donation is a dollar for each time he KO punched me in Sunday Smash with Little Mac. Providing what a jerk he is. Just kidding. Donation goes to Zellard's Choice. $15 from Zerth. Really, this run is amazing. I'd already seen blinded or blindfolded menuing, but an entire run? That's new to me. Good luck, but I don't think you'll need it. $5 from Kim198. Wow, I got points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stop. Go ahead. Oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> $5 from Kim198. That was unbelievable. Awesome job on Punch Out. Then we have a couple Delta Rune donations. Just a reminder, we are working towards that bonus game two Delta Rune race uh, incentive that would be later on tonight if we hit it. We still need a lot of money for that. We have $10 from Selena Granville. Shout out to all my friends watching right now. This is going towards Delta Rune because y'all know I have, a, I have a need for that good goat content. We also have $20 from Sarah Deer. Delta Rune race not met. There's still plenty of time, but let's not let that be forgotten, shall we? We also have $200 from William D. Aran. After watching something so masterful, I just had to donate. You are the super macho man, Zallard. <laughs> then we do have also $200 from Zengian without no message, and also $30 from KMM Green 5. So for those of you that may be newer to GDQ, this isn't Zallard's first time doing blindfold. You're going to want to do yourself a favor later on. Uh, check out, he has actually done Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and Super Punch-Out, both blindfolded. You'll yep. want to watch those runs. Absolutely. Yeah, both of those are pretty good. This is really just to complete the trilogy, like the console trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> yep, the trifecta. It's happening it's like, right now. Like, people ask me, like, hey, when's we punch out? And it's like, I don't know. I don't know about the logistics of this. And then I tried it, and they're like, oh, I guess this is possible. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to submit a run to a GDQ. I guess this is possible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Technically possible. All right, so... Title defense is ridiculously harder than the first loop. Like, it's not even a comparison. Like, every single fight is pretty much a miracle if I can make it through it. Yep, this is where, this is where the real Wii Punch-Out begins. You can basically think of the first loop as your tutorial to the game. Nice. Sick, okay. The options button is the scariest boss. Yeah. Yeah, Zallard kind of showed me, uh, he's like, if I get lost in here, this is real bad. And he was kind of showing me the layout to it. I'm like, yeah, you should not do that. Nope. <laughs> like, I think my first practice run since I picked this up again, I lost three minutes to try... Basically, I was trying to connect a Wii uh, balance board for three minutes, and it wasn't working, because <laughs> I don't know one. But... Uh, yeah, scary stuff in that options menu. Do not want to go. Um, okay, I missed. I'm gonna check this line again. Okay. When I'm hearing like four or five beeps, I know there's some problems. Like, <laughs> I'm either like, hitting limbs or something, and it's like... Because the buttons are not, like, square, rectangular. It's, like, actually the shape of the boxer. And that can cause some complications blindfolded. Nice, okay. 
didn't mess up that first phase. So he's got that infinite loop because he gives you a star on the final punch. So if you route it out correctly, then it should work out fine. Nice. So yeah, the gimmick of this fight is Glass Joe has headgear, and you're unable to jab him unless you do a star punch to knock off the headgear for a little bit. Perfect. Nicely done. Perfect fight. Yeah, each title defense fight, basically, uh, the boxers have brand new tricks. The fights rarely resemble what they started in in the first, uh, first run through. So Von Kaiser's deal is, he's got the same thing like with MTPO where you could dodge and stun him and knock him down with a star punch, but in this fight, I need to actually gain three stars. A uh, triple star punch is the only way that'll work. Thankfully, there's a pretty nice farming technique where you can do delayed jabs. They're really difficult to do without a lot of practice, One, though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, come on. Fight. Uh, All right, I just wanted the triple star for uh, phase three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, come on, fight. There we go. Really nice recovery there. Yeah. Thankfully, I just remembered, like, oh, hey, he has an infinite, kind of, so I could just resort to that if I get lost. Definitely a strat I didn't practice for at all, because I didn't expect that to ever mess up, but hey, <laughs> good improv, good improv. Yeah, Disco Kid, too, is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's taken up some boxer sizing, so he's got some, some sweet dance moves now. Oh, okay. I guess that's what's happening now. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, all right. <laughs> we hit the KO. Whew. Scary fight. <laughs> I was trying to like, trying to react to when he started that flurry attack. That flurry attack's really tough if I don't have the three stars to cancel it with, you know, just winning. <laughs> <laughs> all right, button. Yeah, again, like we said, if, if Zallard is perfectly on, on point, then the fight will go real smooth. And one mistake makes it completely improv after that. All right. This is where, like, the difficulty just skyrockets for Blindfolded. This is, like, barely possible, this fight. Unless I do everything perfect, so where it gets pretty intense. I cannot wow. believe I just yeah. made that KO. Wow. You don't understand, like, the practice I've had with this fight, I haven't hit that blindfolded in, like, weeks. Unreal. No, that is insane. <laughs> Again, this was another fight. Zallard had me put on the isolation headphones, and, he, and the noise pollution after you knock the manhole off and trying to figure things out is ridiculous. So, that wasn't okay. <laughs> During setup, he was uh, practicing that without sound, and the TV was off, and he made it to round two just from the vibration yeah. of the controller. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised I got to round two. I was pretty sure I lost, but then they turned on the TV, and I did very didn't. <laughs> hey, great work, Mac. Now let's take down the next challenger. Yeah, so this circuit and the final circuit are just... They're just bonkers for blindfolded. Yeah. This is where you'll probably start seeing me do restarts. Um, anywhere in the circuit, honestly. Push it out, Mac. Come on, push it out. Yeah, these will be where the fights, like, um, even the most minor of mistakes, the, the boxers can get completely uncontrollable at that point. They will do very, very random things. Yeah, some fights, like, require you to actually look to evade and counter. Yeah, this fight, um, he also likes to bow a lot, but he's ready for some counterattacks if uh, I punch at the wrong timing. So I have to react to that if I make a huge mistake there. I wasn't sure if that was going to knock down or not. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Fight. Yes! Wow. Wow. You, there's no audio cue for that trick at all, and it skips the entirety of phase two. Come on. Fight. 
Oh. Jeez. All right. Zallard won. That's a pretty perfect counter, counter, but there's a buffer for it. No problem, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Bear Hugger, the next fight is kind of similar to Title Defense Von Kaiser in that you want to collect three stars and stun them and use them for an instant knockdown. But the thing is, Bear Hugger, you have to get them through raw counters. You can't, there's no farming technique for him. So. It's pretty much just like good timing everywhere. And if I mess up, then we're probably gonna see round two or three or possibly even a decision win if things get too out of hand. So hopefully we won't see that, but I certainly won't. <laughs> Alright, there's one. One, two, three. The squirrel is adorable. I love it. The uh, little boxing gloves. So he does delayed hooks, and I have to audibly react to them. I can't, uh, like I have, there's very subtle differences between what he says, like the inflection in his voice when he does those. Oh my god, oh, round one? <laughs> So I, I think that faster than my blindfolded PB um, by a lot. <laughs> yeah, those are all literal just timing in his head based on an audio cue and nothing else. When he's getting those stars in that fight, those are not large windows at all. And there is no buffer for that. That is just hit the button now. So this next fight's the scariest one. If I make a single mistake in certain parts, I have to restart. Like, I'll lose. So... Definitely just complete silence here. Expect at least a couple of retries. Oh my god! <laughs> No way, dude. No way. I need water. <laughs> Give me one sec. Let me press the button. <laughs> Where is it? Did it disappear? Uh, I can't even press the button, dude. <laughs> no. Once he took... so. Each flash, the, the, the design of that fight, if you're playing this like a normal human being and not a Zallard one, is you react to the color of the flash on the turban. Um, but each flash does make a very, very slightly different sound. So that's how Zallard gets the tornado phase, where he has to do duck buffers, and the sound of ducking is almost non-existent, and the sound of the tornado going around 
makes it even more obscure. So, no, that was ridiculous. So I guess we're not getting two pay skip. So you get to see that funny cutscene. But that's all good. Yep. <laughs> he gets real mad about that. Thank God, dude. He gets so fast. Like, that was only a small sample of all of the things that he can throw at me. Again, that juggle that's basically the infinite on Dawn is not easy to do as a, a very tight rhythm. And you saw him drop it a couple times there and just pick it right back up. No big deal. A little scared when I missed that button there. Oh no, we, we clinched real hard right there. <laughs> you were pixels off the option button. Oh no. Oh no. I'll have right. to check that out later. It's all right. We're good. So yeah, we are onto the final circuit of title defense here, and it's going to keep getting more and more silly. All of these fights are basically run killers. Just any slight miss punch anywhere just wrecks it all. So. But this is the final circuit. This is the home stretch. I don't trust that. Come on, Ryan. So just like first Aaron Ryan, this dude's audio cues are like really silent or almost, or actually non-existent for some attacks. So definitely a lot of silence for this one. Phases two and three, which typically throw me into round two, yeah. to where I usually get TKO'd. But cool, we'll yeah. just we'll just skip that part, I guess. So yeah, Soda Pop is probably the most threatening fight in this circuit blindfolded. One, this kind of similar to Great Tiger. One mistake and it's over. I'm curious, what's the time at right now? 53.16. Oh, I have some time. Huh? <laughs> 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 
I have to react to this now. Oh, thank wow. God, dude. Thank God. All right, we have a chance. It's still not over, but it's now possible at least. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Making it look too easy. I assure you it's not. Title Defense Soda has a unique mechanic where once he goes into the rage mode, the number of uppercuts you dodge basically determine where the instant knockdown can be done with a star punch. So for every punch that Zalard dodges, he gets to return fire with that many, and after that number, he needs to throw a star punch. So hey, remember this guy? This fight's not okay without a blindfold. Yeah, so you have to knock them down with stars, but stars are mostly frame perfects. So I'm probably going to need to hit like some magnitude of frame perfect hits here in order to win. Dang, I needed one more hit point there. <sighs> okay. This is going to be a tough one. Yeah, that helps a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on. Not quiet. I know his hit points is low, but this is going to be hard. Uh oh. Dang. 
Thank God, dude. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Give me that water, man. I need that water. <laughs> oh man. More water. Yeah. This Thank one's you. full. Good. Are you I'm actually serious with this right now? Why do you do this to us? Do you want to you know how much time you had left on that, that round? Slightly over 10 seconds? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't lost yet. Hey. I can. Me too. These fights are still really hard. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like, All right, we got the setup for phases two and three. So that's pretty good. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Fight. Work it. Release the... Oh. Release the... Oh. I'm so sorry, everyone. No bogus this time. <laughs> If I had missed two stars, he would have had one more chance, but... Wow, all right. Yeah. So I missed the start at the start of phase three, so panicking just a little bit, but not as bad as that ball bull fight. <laughs> yeah, so one fight left for uh, the main incentive here. Definitely not an easy one. If I make a mistake, then he's a very fast contender here. There's also a loop on him, but it's extremely difficult to maintain. Like, it's a lot harder than the Dawn loop or the Kaiser title defense loop. And there's also a little bit of luck involved in this fight in terms of what side he winks on. Do you think it's his turn? I don't think it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> his turn to get knocked down. Not quite. Die, die. Stand still. Red time. 
Oof. Okay. Oh, yes. I was hoping that would knock him down. All right, so technically time is now, but what is the uh, time at right now? One hour, four minutes, 23 seconds. <laughs> what? Yeah. You kind of been killing it up here, boss. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's a PB by like six minutes. Because of course you would. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> All right. We're not done. Title screen? Yep. All right. Just showing off the, the new attire Mac has, I guess. Technically, I could unblindfold and do this since I completed the run, but... I don't know, I just feel like it. And we have time, apparently, because that run just happened. All right. There we go. So, because I obliterated the estimate, um, I'm going to actually do Last Stand, which is the way to get the final credits sequence. Um, there is a random chance I could fight Donkey Kong in this, so if I do that, we'll just we'll just count that as the uh, the estimate for Donkey Kong. Um, if I forget if this has a button, it does. Where are you? Come on now. Did you leave, button? Wait, there you are. Okay. okay. <laughs> So the cool thing is, there's only one boxer in the ring, so if I hear the squeaky, then I know it's go mode. Yeah, so to clarify, Last Stand is basically an infinite mode after you've completed title defense, where you fight forever random opponents. Yep. And after you lose three times... Wow, Disco yeah. Kid's about to be the champion of the world. <laughs> yep. So these are going to be intentional losses. The idea is, is to truly So I have to run. lose these fights in order to get to the final credits. Yes. So... I'm pretty much just provoking him to attack me. Yep. And in, in the speed run for a, a full run, like an actual signal, single segment run, this is required. Because this is how you get to, quote unquote, the ending. Yeah, this is like the legit way that you unlock Donkey Kong, is uh, mm -hmm. randomly running into him in last stand. Yep. So if Donkey Kong shows up in these three fights, uh, we'll go ahead and do the fight there. If not, then we will back out and do the yeah. Donkey Kong incentive. Pretty much, yeah. Poor Mac. He tried so hard. Disco Kid's just that good, though. It's true. <laughs> okay, kid. All right, so there's a chance that it could be Donkey Kong. Let's see here. Nope, Great Tiger. So I have to let him beat me. He does a pretty good job, just if I don't press anything, so. Yeah, once he gets me pink, then. Last Stand is always title defense character. It's always title defense, yeah. yeah. It goes from, uh, the first pick is either it's someone from the minor circuit in title defense. Second pick is someone randomly from the major circuit in title defense, plus the potential Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. And then the, the third fight is uh, 
the final circuit plus possibility of Donkey Kong. Come on now. Come on now. How am I not hitting it? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Pixels. Pixel perfect, man. Pixel imperfect. <laughs> All right, so one more title defense fight. And if it's not Donkey Kong, then like we said, we'll, we'll go back to the menu and do that final incentive blindfolded. And by we, I mean Zallard, who does everything. All right, Donkey Kong. Ah. Nope, not Donkey Kong. So I actually cannot get to the menu from here. I have to let Macho beat me. Because yep. if I pause, it'll actually gray out uh, options to leave. Yep. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to check out the credits. What's our time right now? Uh, one hour nine minutes forty two seconds. Okay, <laughs> we've got time. <laughs> Maybe you should stop being so freaking good at everything you do. <laughs> I have six more minutes to play with than I thought I had. Oh, this is good. Love this cutscene. The personality in this game is incredible. So good. If you've never played Wii Punch Out, like definitely check it out. All right. By the way, this is time. There we go. <laughs> Wait. Did it leave? No, it's going. Credits are going. Yeah. Oh, I can't hear them. That was weird. There was a big delay there. All right. Well, as long as it, wor it works, it's fine. Whew. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> good job, son. Heck of a run, man. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Blindfolded with title defense. One hour one and ten minutes. Right where you had it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think my PB with vision is like not very long compared to like I think it's like 102 or something. <laughs> Sounds about right. At least in real time. It's been a while since I checked that out, but yeah, that was that was absolutely ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but goodness. I know what happened. We let Zallard one on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Some water. Wait, did, did I put it down or not? I got you. We got you. Okay. So yeah, uh, while we're waiting for the credits here, uh, thank you to all of you for being so patient because we've wanted to scream on the couch so we know y'all have wanted to scream yeah so thank you and no, thank, you, you and, did great audience and you screamed at the proper times and so and thank you good. to everyone for making these incentives happen a uh, couple donations while we wait this out absolutely we have fifty dollars from king hippo oh proud, no proud <laughs> to be utterly destroyed by this amazing speed run and donate to a very worthy cause Please help me collect my pineapples. <laughs> Thank you for your generosity, King Hippo. It's the most generous thing you've ever done. <laughs> we also have $100 by Oasis. Donating money to be the, to recognize the real enemy in Blindfolded Punch-Out Wii, the menu nav. Oh, yeah. Let this donation go to Zalard's Choice. We also have a $500 donation. Ooh, nice. By Tim218 with no message. And $10 from UGamer81. This blindfolded run of Punch-Out is so good, you seriously don't see it coming. <laughs> it's true. Absolutely impressed with Zallard1 this run. Keep the punches and donations rolling. I can keep going. How much more time do I have? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, a little bit. Keep going. We have $50 from Atreus. Incredible watching Zalard 1 playing Punch-Out Blindfolded. I'm absolutely blown away. Take my money for this Herculean effort and let's see if we can extend SGDQ with bonus Delta Rune. Great work runners, announcers, staff, and all present for keeping this chap entertained all week long. $25 from Pokey Deluxe. I can't not donate during this once again amazing blind Punch-Out run from Zalard. And I can't not put my money towards seeing the Masterpiece Delta Rune. Follow up to my very favorite game from recent years, Undertale. Scratch that, not game, but experience. Come on, guys, we gotta get this incentive met. 
And just as an update, we are making a little progress, but we're still a long ways away. We need almost $20,000 to get that uh, bonus game in tonight. So if you want to see a Deltarune race by two of the absolute best Deltarune runners, be sure to get those donations in. I love this credits music, by the way. It's so good. <laughs> Okay. Um. Yeah, I think it might be a dangerous play to go through the exhibition menu blindfolded. Uh, I think I'll try, and if I get super lost, I'll just, yeah, I think that's the plan. So you're going to do it in about 10 seconds. That would be cool. <laughs> I think it's just a button. I don't think there's a cursor thing. Oh, okay, cool. There you go. All right. Actually, shoot. Um, well, I hope this file has Donkey Kong. It did yesterday. Oh, am I just on the right line? All right. Should I ask, like, if this is right? You can. Is that the bottom right file? It is. Cool. I forget what all of these buttons are. I'm just going to assume the top one's good. <laughs> People are cheering, so I guess that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little scared of the delete button. Yeah. Oh, delete button. Yeah, that would be something. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like exhibition menu. It could also, well, I hear beeps, so it's gotta be. The arrows though, I don't know how to, how to possibly do this. Are you shitting me? I'm sorry, I'm so uh. sorry. That's like, that's like a one in a trillion thing. Did I lose it? Okay. <laughs> Only you. Only That's you. It, basically impossible. Like, I don't... <laughs> All right. One last one for the road. Blindfolded okay. Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll just get that, I guess. For Salad One, everybody. Legendary performance. Stand up. <laughs>
Thanks, Bob, man. Wow, that was absolutely one of the most amazing things I have seen at a Games Done Quick. I hope everyone enjoyed that even half as much as I did.